Welcome to Foldit Lab Report number seven. This is a special quarantine edition of the Foldit Update. I am not at the Institute for Protein Design. I am at home where I've been working for the past few weeks. I am joined by my colleague Ian H, who is helping me to record this video from home. And that is why this video will look and sound different than our normal lab report videos. Uh, we have a brand new special update this month. Um, coronavirus is old news. We have something much bigger. We are releasing a new big special update for Foldit. You will no longer have to click any buttons on your mouse. You will no longer have to press any keys on your keyboard. You just boot up Fold It and let it run in the background and it will do all of the protein design for you. You can go cook dinner and come back in a week and see if you made the top scoring list. It should make gameplay much, much easier for Fold It players. Just kidding. We are not rolling out a new automated gameplay feature. That is our April Fool's gag. In fact, we would never do that. The strength of Foldit is precisely the fact that Foldit players can apply some of their direct reasoning and intuition to Foldit puzzles. So as long as Foldit will continue to be successful, we will need your help in playing it. In the news this month, we kicked off our coronavirus challenge. We are asking Folded players to design a protein that could be used as an antiviral drug. And then the University of Washington is going to take the most successful designs and actually produce that as a drug. So fold.it, by playing the game, you're actually helping out with university research on the coronavirus. So we're scientists? We're researchers? You are citizen we're... scientists is the actual terminology there. See, Fantastic. This is so much more productive in terms of channel this anxiety around coronavirus as opposed to hoarding toilet paper. I agree, you know, yes. You know, yes. Solve puzzles, do don't yes. hoard toilet paper. Yes. You've got it. We're happy to expand the Foldit community. Welcome. Just to fill you in, normally in Foldit, we like to run puzzles in week-long rounds. After each round, we will analyze the results, give some feedback, and try to tweak future rounds so that we can improve puzzle results. Scientists with the Foldit project have looked at the first three rounds of these design puzzles and selected 99 designs for testing in the wet lab. If you want to see what those experiments look like, we recently posted a special update video that takes you inside the lab. The genes encoding those 99 Foldit player solutions are being synthesized now, and in a couple weeks they'll arrive at the IPD so we can begin experiments. In the meantime, we'll continue to post Foldit antiviral design puzzles so that you can keep working on binders and generate more effective designs. Puzzle updates, pretty simple this month. We had a bunch of Corona. We also had some symmetric design puzzles. Foldit players are continuing to design symmetric complexes. These are proteins where multiple copies of the same protein will come together to form an assembly. At the very beginning of the month, we had our most recent aflatoxin puzzle. Those solutions have been sent off to the Siegel Lab at UC Davis. They are gearing up right now to test a new batch of Foldit designs from the previous round. Again, these are proteins that are designed to break down an aflatoxin molecule, which is a poisonous compound found in a huge portion of the global food supply. For this month's design of the month, we have a design that you may have already seen in one of our blog posts. This was a binder design from user Stomjo in Puzzle 1808. This was round two of our Foldit Coronavirus Binder Challenge. Um, this is a really excellent design. We see that it has a huge core of orange hydrophobic residues with lots of blue residues on the outside, and it has a ton of secondary structure. These are very short loops between all of the alpha helices. So we feel pretty good that this protein is very likely to fold up. Um, we also saw in our blog post that the binder metrics for this protein look very, very good. Um, so please check out the blog post for more details about that. If you're new to Foldit, you should check out our YouTube channel. We have a couple new videos that should get you up to speed on how to play Foldit. The first is a speed run through our tutorials by user Socrates. The second is a walkthrough by expert Foldit player Suzume, and she introduces how to play the coronavirus binder design puzzles. If you're brand new, this is a great place to start. That's all we have for this month. Look out for more coronavirus puzzles, and keep folding, and we'll see you next month. <laughs>